welcome back to CHP. Here we are in these beautiful woods. Spring has just begun, and I can't think of a better place to spend it than here on campus at Cedar Hill Prep. I have gotten to know more and more of the students, the faculty, the parents, just the whole community that, that fuels the school here and keeps it awesome. Uh, today, we're actually speaking with Karen Holstein, who is one of the very first teachers that kids see as one of the preschool teachers here at CHP. So Karen helps kids come in and get started off on the right foot. And from there, they grow one grade at a time into the amazing students that make up our student population here at Cedar Hill Prep. I can't wait to talk to her. Come on along, let's find out more together. My name is Karen Holstein. I've been at CHP. I'm finishing my 13th year in preschool and I love it. I've been teaching for many years. I've taught eighth grade all the way down, but preschool is my happy place. I love the kids, I love the families, and I see such growth in these children. What unique opportunities do you feel you have as one of the first teachers to work with students when they begin their journey at CHP? Wow, that's a really great question. Um, I see the kids coming in in the morning in September and they are totally scared, crying, and within a few days, they're so happy to be here. I had one student who came in after a few days and he said, I'm here! And that was just an awesome feeling to see. I am also the first real teacher that the kids have and that gives me an opportunity to pro provide nurturing and establish a love of learning. I also have the opportunity to watch the kids grow academically, socially, emotionally through all the experiences we provide in school. I also have the opportunity to see these children develop confidence and independence through our daily activities. I get to hear them use their new language, new vocabulary words, and develop friendships, resolve conflicts on their own, and express themselves. I also get to see their aha moment. They practice and practice and eventually they get it and it's I did it and it's something that they never thought they could do or they said they can't do but with practice they get it. I also have the opportunity to work with the parents very closely and we form relationships. How does the lower school influence the rest of the school? Well the lower school influences the rest of the school because they're the younger ones and the older students tend to be more nurturing. They tend to be patient with the kids. We have Read Across America during the year and the kids will come in and they'll read stories to the little ones and they just have so much patience with them and understanding and they're always amazed how nicely they walk in the hallways and they're very supportive. We went outside for St. Patrick's Day and we had a little parade with the kids and the older kids were outside and they started cheering and it made the kids feel really very nice and welcoming. What fundamental traits have you seen instilled in the preschoolers that they carry with them to the older grades? That's another great question. Some of the traits are empathy and kindness. We teach the kids when somebody new comes in, introduce yourself, play with them if they're by themselves, take them by the hand, introduce them, talk to them. And we also have our random act of kindness wall where the children will just do a random act of kindness and we reward them with a certificate and make a big deal of it. And the kids are so excited. And hopefully that kind of thing will carry on. We also talk about determination. When the kids come to school, sometimes they say, I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this. And in our class, we say, I'll try. We don't say I can't, we say I try and eventually through practice we get that I did it and they're so excited and so proud of themselves. Independence and confidence. We try to instill a lot of independence and confidence within the children. Be yourself. Don't choose something because somebody else did it. And public speaking, the children bring in things for show and tell and they learn to be independent and confident in themselves speaking in front of their children, they eventually leave the classroom in circle time. And because of the routines and things that we do in class, they can do it. 
And the last one is honesty. Always be truthful to everyone. It's better to be truthful than to tell a lie and be caught. And I tell the children, if you tell the truth, you won't get into trouble. But if you don't tell the truth and we find out, then that's not the best thing. Do you keep in touch at all with any of the students you have previously taught? I do keep in touch with a lot of the children that have been in my classroom. Uh, if I see them in the hallways, we talk a lot, they'll come to visit in the classroom. Because I did make a relationship with a lot of the parents, I remained friends with them out of school. It's really nice to see the kids progress. I see when I taught them, we were doing letters and sounds, and now they're writing words and paragraphs and reading. It's just so amazing to see the progression of all these children. Um, what's the last great movie that you watched that had nothing to do with CHP, just had to do with Karen Holstein? Just your free time. What I'm watching now on Netflix is The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And for my birthday, my two older daughters surprised me with a tea, a high tea at the plaza. And the theme was from Miss Maisel. And it was just really a beautiful experience for the two of us, me and my two girls, to experience together. Well, that was outstanding. It was so great to talk with Mrs. Holstein and find out what happens when children begin here at CHP and how we help set them up for years of success to come as part of our campus, part of our community, and part of the tapestry that makes this place so special. I know I'm excited to be here and I can't wait to see you next time. Take care.